All right, guys, this is Paul McMillan II, and welcome to another live New York session. And it is August 18, 2022. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually check the news here. And then as we can see, uh, we've had some major news uh, at 8.30. So we've already passed that. That was about 30 minutes ago. Uh, there's going to be a little bit of high impact. Well, we still have low impact news past 8.30, and then we're going to have it at 10 a.m. Uh, but usually this type of impact news doesn't really impact price that much, so we should be fine. So we are going to actually do gold. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to step one, mark up the 15-minute time frame all the way to the four-hour time frame. So let me go all the way back in price and get started. All right, so now we're at the beginning of price. So let's turn on our um, market structure indicator. So of course I see that price rejected this area. So let me change this to yellow. So we're gonna really, really look at key level rejections. So we see that this was another good key level here. Price really, really rejected this area, went up to this next level and then came back and rejected this same area. So this is a good level here. And so when I see price go all the way up, I can kind of see um, some more rejection here. <clears throat> we see that price and even though price went all the way up to this level, but it pushed price down to this level, did multiple rejections and then broke it and then went down to this floor and then retested this. And then finally broke it and then retested this and went up. And then we also see there was a key level rejection, key level up here as well. The institutions really forced the bears to really reject this level and go down. So that's another key, good key area. And so then when we analyze price going up to here, <clears throat> um, I can see that price really rejected this area. It faked out and went up to here. And then we also see a key level up here. Price really, really rejected this level and went down. So now what I'm going to do is, is actually mark zones in these areas and we'll move on to the 30 minute. <clears throat> so let's go to here. So now we marked up these areas. So now let's go to the 30 minute and do the same exact thing. So let's go all the way back in price. So this is as far back as we've gone. So now we're gonna start here. So I'm gonna put vertical line right here. And so now when we analyze price a lot further, price rejected this zone perfectly, broke this zone. And the first level rejection I see is in this area because price rejected this area was forced price to go up to here. Um, and then of course price rejected this area as well, but then eventually broke and retested and went down. So this is a good key level area here, I would think. So we're going to make this uh, green. Uh, and then the next area, the next level area, I see a lot of price that I see price really rejecting a lot is um, I see a key level rejection here because price really respected this area on the same line. But then also when price retested, it came back and pushed price further down in here. 
So this is probably a good area here. And then I see a very key level rejection down to here. And that's really what forced price to really reverse and go back up and test this area. And then it did respect this area down here and went up to here. <clears throat> so I'm um, gonna go ahead and draw my zones on here because once I get back to the 15 minute, I'll probably kind of tighten up um, any other market structure if needed. But I'm just getting, you know, the key areas. Um, so now let's go to the uh, one hour. We're going to repeat the process. So now on the one hour, when we look at this last structure, price rejected it, but then finally broke it and then came down, uh, came down. And I could see a good key level here because price really rejected this level multiple times and then finally went down to this level, but then came up, rejected this level and to push price further down. So let me change this to red. And then um, and then I see a key level rejection here. Price really rejected this, uh, really hit this support multiple times and finally pushed price all the way back up to here. And then I see a key level right here as well. So we're just getting the very key areas where price hit support or resistance multiple times and then made a move that either made price break structure or, re or reject it. All right. So now we're going to move on to the four hour. So this is what we uh, have marked up so far. Forgot to get up here, but that's okay. So now this is where current price is at, all right? So now we marked up all the way to the four hour. So when I really look at this market structure here, so really when we look at reality, let me turn this back on. There's another key level here. So I'm gonna make this purple, whoops. All right, so um, let me check something here. Okay, yeah, I was correct there. So when I look at this structure, price went all the way down to this demand zone, went into an uptrend and broke at least two struck, well, really three structures, one, two, three. But it really, really rejected this structure and broke this structure and went down. So with this last move, there was imbalance here. It looks like they came up and filled that. It looks like they probably might be ready to bring it back down to a certain point. So I would say that price is currently bearish at this point um at this point now and so that's what i'm going to say price is bearish now we're going to confirm it on the one hour and so we see on the one hour here that price really rejected this key level that we drew so it is correct and then we see that it rejected another key level here so we can actually draw this key level if you want, just to kind of tighten up a little on it a little bit. All right. And then we can go to the 30 minute, same exact thing, 15 minute, same exact thing. Now,
when I look at the overall structure, the next thing I like to look at is, so let me actually, uh, let me see, we got two minutes until the 915 camp, I mean three minutes, so that's fine. So when I'm really looking at this last structure, I see that price uh, previously rejected this structure and went up and tested this area. So I wouldn't be surprised if price tests this area and pushes up to this resistance here, okay? So I'm gonna draw another support here because price is wicking out here. So it's a possibility that price could buy up because remember, we gotta fill half of this imbalance here. So they might buy it up to here, um, halfway, maybe up to this resistance, up to this support here, I mean resistance here, or up here, possibly up here. Then once they finish filling this imbalance, then they're gonna send it back down at a certain point. So this is what I'm going to do. I am going to actually set up my uh, risk to reward cell right here. Uh, and my goal is to get uh, 400 points and go get at least a risk to reward of one. Now, the next candle is about to close. Now, if it closes below here, then I'm expecting it to drop probably down to this zone here. Now, if it does that, then it's definitely gonna have to buy up and fill this imbalance here. Then I'll probably buy it up to fill that imbalance maybe. So, but that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for price to really kind of reverse up and maybe come back up to this zone. Or it may reverse up and come back up to here and then drop. So, that's what I'm going to kind of look for. So I'm going to wait. Well, the 915 candle is ready now. So let's see. So we have a support here. Price is rejecting that. So then I would probably expect price to buy up maybe all the way up to this zone here, or maybe all the way up to here. If anything, maybe up to here. So possibly what I'm gonna do is, I'm probably going to, it's wicking out this area. I'm probably going to set my cell here. That way, if price comes up, rejects this, then I can get ready for the sell. And then if for some reason price rejects this and go down, I can always adjust. So we're talking about getting 250 points of gold. which is right here. And then if price continues to go, then I'll make this second TP. Now price really, really is rejecting this area. Um, so I can always pull this down and adjust. Um, but we're gonna wait for the next candle if, to know for sure. So this here, uh, CTP1, uh, 250 plus points. So we'll do that. Then this 
is going to be 600, this 600 plus points. And that's what we're going to do. Now, price ends up breaking this and going down to here. Um, then I'll probably, I might mark it execute, but we'll see. Um, I got to really see what price is going to do. I'm not going to be in a hurry. Um, so let me go ahead and send my alerts and then we'll wait for the 930 bell. Be right back. Okay, alerts. The alerts are set. Um, Notice that price is pushing up, so it's probably pushing up to mitigate this area, and that's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm really looking at. Um, I'm gonna draw a demand zone here. Um, further analyze this. What I'm probably gonna do at this point is Um, we'll put this horizontal line here and then a price breaks past it then I want to expect it to come up and reject this area and then come down but if it rejects this area keep on rejecting it then it pushes down then I'm going to adjust my entry and everything so we got eight minutes We'll see what price ends up doing. Um, we'll bring the price a little bit closer so we can see what's going on. Yeah, this is what we see. So, yeah, we have over seven minutes till 930 bell closes. So we'll see what happens. Be right back. Now, one thing I noticed as well, when price came back to fill this imbalance, it did break some structure here. So it probably is going to go bullish and maybe fill all of this up here. There's also another key level here as well. So if price buys up, we could technically buy it up but the question is how far will it go before reverse back and, and, and come down so that's the reason why i'm going to count on selling it because price could buy all the way up to here and then decide to come down or it can come all the way up to here and come down but we don't know so it's risky to really buy it here when price is really overall bearish um that's one thing i forgot to do was update my trend line So I'm going to put that. So we have four minutes until 930 bell. So I'm going to go ahead and it looks like price is pushing up. So let me do something here. Now let me update my trend line. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and put my stop loss and take profit in just to have it ready. Give me a second here. All right, so got my stop loss and take profit put in. Um, 
now looks like price is buying up to fill that air, half of that area. So now that it's doing that, that's the reason why I'm putting this here. It's really kind of a key level up here in this area, kind of between here. So I'm gonna erase this horizontal line. So we'll see. The 930 bell will happen in about two minutes. Be right back. All right, so we got about over, we got 15 seconds until the 930 bell hits. <clears throat> so let's see what price wanna do to this market structure. Three, two, one. So it looks like it wanna close up. Now, if it closes up, then they're trying to fill all this in balance. So this closed up, so more likely it's going to buy up, which I expected it. Look at all this imbalance here. This is a huge imbalance move. They got to fill this area. So either they're going to fill half of it or all of it, maybe create all-time high, reject this zone, and then come down. So that's the reason why we got to sit on our hands and wait for the right opportunity. Um, this up to here. Might change this to uh, maybe that or maybe it might be good. Yeah. Wonder if it's rejecting this area. Might be rising above, yeah. What I'm probably going to do is for now, maybe it'll come up to here and then drop. It might do that. So let me see. I'm gonna wait for the next candle and see what is where it's gonna go. We got 12 minutes until the next candle. All right, so we have about 20 minutes until the 945 candle. I see a huge wick rejection here, which is probably rejecting this area. Um, see, five, four, three, two, one. wonder if it's rejecting this here or it's probably rejecting this structure here and pushing price down to here. Let's see. up to here looks like it's dropping down um, I might go ahead and just execute possibly I'll go ahead and execute because it looks like it's dropping yeah it looks like it's dropping but we'll see So once I get into a, a, a profit, I'll resume this recording. Um, we'll see, it looks like a banker's candle is forming here. So be right back. All right, guys, so <clears throat> price really did drop. It dropped 
See, I think I got it about here. It dropped a good 259 points, so I made about 100 bucks with this. So I'm going to share my screen. So price really did reject this area like I thought it was, and it dropped. Let me share my phone screen here. So as you can see, it made $115, $109 um, on the first trade and then $5, I mean, uh, on the first partial trade and then $5 on the second one. So we did good with that. And it looks like, let me switch back to the main screen, it looks like price is dropping possibly a little bit more, it might go a little bit more. Um, so let me pause this recording and see if price goes any further. If not, we'll wrap up this session. Be right back. All right, so I'm back. So let me erase this here. So it looks like price is dropping down um, a lot more. I forgot to turn on my DeLorean EMA, but the DeLorean EMA definitely did cross over and it's sticking out. So that's letting us know that price probably still has some juice to go more bearish. So I'm definitely going to be doing a back testing session on this because we actually did a good job with this. Because remember previously I said, that price is probably going to reject this area, which it did. If you put the structure here, price didn't even re, uh, didn't even um, retest this area and go up. It faked out and went down. So we were correct. So I will be doing a back testing session on this sometimes today, um, but we did very good on this session. So that's it for this session, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.